I used to get told, you know, get to that position one and straight arm here, then drop, come from the inside. There was too much going on. Sense to go a bit. See how they both I've missed yeah. both left and right there though. Yeah. That's my issue, even off the tee with the driver. I've got a two-way miss. Um, me, me woods. Never bit like that. But yeah. The thing is, is, once you start to recognise the release, yeah. you can regulate it. Yeah. Just Only because you try it. Because we all think, and you know what, we all do the same thing. The harder we try and the more we focus, the better it's going to be. This thing's the opposite because it's movement. It's like actually, when you let it just happen. Yeah. What would you like from the session? What's going to make the difference to your game? So. Um, handicap's coming down a bit. Handicap's coming down, well it's at about 20 at the moment. Uh, I, I think I'd like to look at maybe what I'm doing after the team. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like I'm trying to fight this draw and I can almost do it with the irons and, and even the woods off a tee. I'm starting to aim out to the right and it is drawing back. But with a driver it doesn't, it either stays out there or it kind of goes okay. left to right. We'll start with the iron, we'll get going, we'll have a look and then Take it from there. I can say it's a, probably a bit of a unusual swing, and I do get people making comments like, "Yeah, really? Yeah, that's, I don't really care. What it looks like though, as long as it no. does its job." Um, but yeah, um, I agree with that. <clears throat> I used to get told, you know, get to that position one, and yeah. then straight arm here, then drop come from the inside, there was too much going on. Yeah, so I've yeah. tried to just come away from all that now yeah. and just enjoy, enjoy the golf a bit. That's kind of what I used to do a lot is pull it to the left like that. If I do that, I think it's because I'm not trying to hit it that way. So okay. the next shot, I'll try yeah. to force myself out there a bit more. It sends the goal a bit straighter then. See how they're both, I've missed yeah. both left and right there though. Yeah. That's my issue, even off the tee with the driver. I've got a two way miss. Yeah, that's me trying to draw it and obviously yeah. it's gone the other way. All these different shots you want to play have got quite different release patterns. Yes. They're all over that then. Well, the minute they are, you're doing a similar thing but getting lots of different results. Whereas all these shots you're talking about, starting the ball to the right and drawing it back, and starting it left, they're very, very different release patterns. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, is once you start to recognise the release, yeah. you can regulate it. At the minute, with the way you're swinging, you're probably not moving in a way to become aware of it. Yeah. Using a limited action with the joint for the wrists. Right. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm doing anything really with my wrists. No, so that's where we want to start first. Oh. So we'll nip outside, we'll yeah. take this uh, set and I'm going to get a club as well. So we're looking at this action here, hmm. and then we're looking at this action. They probably feel a bit comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this one. It might feel a bit different. Yeah. So you might be using kind of this to close your face. Yeah. Which means you've got to make a lot of swing and you've got to make the actual swing to close the face. You've got to basically swing it away and then back in to close it. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to just doing that. Which then allows you to move the club wherever you want. Does that make sense? Otherwise, to close that face, the handle has to do that now. You can't physically get the club out there yeah. with a closed face doing this. Suddenly your swing takes you this way, so you can't get that draw, or well, not a functional one. It might draw, but it might start left, and it's really a pull draw. Yeah. Rotate the club into the ground like that, just far back there. Yeah, even just further back here. That's it, so you're getting the, just burying that leading edge into the ground. That's it, but let it rotate, so there's a bit more rotation. So yeah, like, like this, so it's, just rotating into the right. ground. Yeah. Yeah, what's that feel like with two? Different feel? Yeah. Yes. Now look at that club face. This is rotated, yeah. which means it would have been ro probably rotating to yeah. get to this place. And your diverts, if you look, we're doing this. Yeah. We're not actually swinging in the direction we want the ball to go, and yeah. that you might be doing that. Ooh, well done. Yeah, it doesn't matter about the strike. First yeah. thing is, 
little bit of curve. That's it. That's different, isn't it? How high it's done as well. <laughs> Jesus. Sailed over the 150 that. Miles. Stronger fly. So you're de lofting the club because essentially what we want to be doing is turning this 7 iron to like a 6 or a 5. That could only happen if you're swinging down and de lofting it. When you're releasing it like this, you're actually probably adding loft. Yeah. As opposed to de lofting it. Now you can shift your path to the right. That's because you can rotate the face. That's unlocking your path. Brilliant. That's a draw against the wind off the left. Didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Different feel? Definitely, yeah. It's, again, it feels like I'm leaning over to that tree, maybe. Exactly, because what reality shows you yeah. with the shot is just a nice draw. I might feel here like I'm swinging miles out there. But in a split second, I'm back here again. Just do a few swings on there for me. Just, just half sway yeah. those. Yeah, softer than that. And just back and forth. That's it. Now I want you to swing more from here and here. Should that part me out? Yeah, the rest will the rest will react, but that's it. Yeah. So you can let that bend even more, let it rotate and bend. Just to see how much you can use it to get some swing. So you don't have to use you don't have to let that move as much, it's moving yeah. these more. Okay. Yeah. Just letting it swing, that's it. Different feel? Yeah. There we go, that was it. So if we want to feel it even heavier, bend your elbow, bend your elbow, go on, bend it, bend it, let your wrist go. Can you feel that now? Yeah. Okay, that's the extreme now, just swish it through from there. Brilliant. Notice how late your arm extended on the way through. Yeah. Feels very different. Mm -hmm. it's, like I'm it's the opposite. Starting. Yeah, it's the, it's the opposite of what you normally do, that's all. There we go. Yeah. So it's that snap there that's resonated mm. a bit. That's forcing the club to... That's what plays your shot. That snap's got a direction. Is it going out to the right? Yeah. Is it going left? Is it going up? Is it going down? And also, what's the face doing when you snap? Is it keeping grip on me? Yeah. Is it snapping a lot? Is it just snapping a little bit? So we start to remove the effort from the swing because the efficiency of your release goes up. That's just not, I didn't try to go out there yet. Exactly, yeah, great flight, isn't it? Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> so there's a shift, and then a twist. Shift, twist, shift, twist, shift, yes. That's brilliant. Feel the shift? Yeah. Yeah, big brilliant. Now, if you want to direct your swing out to the right more, use the shift. If you were to throw a ball, and, and you're gonna throw it out there, notice where your weight goes. When you, when you go to throw, but where, you, but where your hips went first, went that way. You shifted that way, you twist, you rotate and fire. Yeah, if it was over arm, then you go. Yeah, if you want to throw down that over there, mm -hmm. just imagine you don't have to let go, just imagine you're throwing over there to the left. But you should, but where your body weight went, your body weight goes this way first, mm -hmm. then you rotate. So if we want to swing out there for a draw, we want our body weight to shift that way. And what you've just done on here is you've created that shift and then a rotation. If you wanted to go more to the right, you'd shift more to the right and then you just let yourself rotate and let the sequence go. Alright. Just grab your plug for me. Boom, twist, boom, twist. Yes, that was it. Oh, feel that swish? Yeah. That's the snap. Now let your shift come to me first, because that's going to direct your swing out to the right for a draw. Yeah. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to Clubhead Speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. That's it. Brilliant movement. Well done. That sounded different, didn't it? 
Yeah. Well done. Yeah, that's better. I've not been shifting at all, I don't think, because I felt that the timing there was different. You can even shift a bit more that way as well, out to the right. Yeah. It feels more powerful, like, you know, it's like yeah. a weight almost. Yeah, it, it's exactly what it is. You see, if you accelerate mass, you get force. Yeah. The more you accelerate, the more force you get. The problem is, what you've been doing in your swing, you've been trying to create the force. Well done. Take your grip. That's awesome. Just a bit open. Yeah. Fantastic. Have a little waggle now. Now just looking out there for me, feeling the club, if you were to feel that kind of swing with a club head, what kind of shot would you match that with? What kind of shot yeah. would you feel that? Draw. Do? Have a look what's going on. Oh, it's open though, isn't it? Mm, it's a block. block yeah. It's a push. A draw might be something like this. Yeah. So it's still travelling out there to the right, but it's rotating. Look at that shot. It's 180 yards. Yeah. The level of effort you're putting in, so that was a 5 out of 10 swing. Yeah. You're operating way too high. Yeah. For you're trying too hard to hit the ball. You're trying too hard. Yeah. And then what you're doing is you're getting in the way then of swinging the club, that's all. Your movement's fantastic, Lou. What you've got to do is we've got to let this club head now react to you. This reacts to you and guess what then? You react to it and then you just let it swing to the finish. There, that's it. Brilliant. Now, what a golf shot. Shot. What a shot. I'm barely trying though, am I? Not, not You've just been getting in your own way. Yeah. You, only because you try it. Because we all think, and you know what, we all do the same thing. The harder we try and the more we focus, the better it's going to be. This thing's the opposite because it's movement. It's like actually, when you let it just happen. Yeah. But what we've just done is we've just layered it up so your body recognises where it's going. Yeah. Consciously, it can be like, oh, we're doing a few different things here. But what's happening is all we're doing is we're just letting your body know where you're going to take it. Yeah. And then when you just switch it off, when you just go, right, now I just want to go. Yeah. Body knows where to go. I just felt effortless that like wasn't wasn't going to go very far, and it's 180. Sure. A five out of ten swing is like, I mean that rhythm. That's all you'll ever need. Yeah. So a bit effort, bit yeah. more effort in there. It ramped up. It's still going 150. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you've got distance in abundance. We just need to start to harness your momentum and just let the snap react. So recognising all that, that free-flowing finish. Yeah, look at that. Sure. And it's a draw, because it's against the wind. Yeah. The left. Fantastic. Sure. <laughs> One under the 200, that, isn't it? Jesus. That just shows you how much speed you've got, but what you need to be doing is learning to control dial it down so this club so exactly the same now for your draw what do you normally do with this then it's normally I normally kind of really lean off it and then right so not as slow and premeditated and deliberate just get in there use your momentum swish it through five that's it but use your forward press now all right so shifting forward let it go through to the finish let it snap to that finish and then there we go that's it. It's a great drive. Me. <laughs> I never did them like that. That's like over two. That's over 250. The driver can really help you because it's longer and it's a bigger mass. So the thing is, right, what you can actually do is when you go to the range, you start off with your seven, get the driver, and then intermittently change between your irons and your driver because the driver gives you the feeling of the sequence. I think about this club way too much because literally all I've tried to do there is hit out. Yeah. And it's gone. Perfect. Wow, sure. look at that. It don't get better really than that. I'm gobsmacked if I'm honest. Like, I can't. Drivers, what I've said to you, I've been struggling with the most. And I don't know, that was awesome, mate. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that's even the one. better. <laughs> 
but you know how this feels yeah. and you've got a routine there's a flow to this there's a tempo there's a rhythm there's effort level which is not high is it no brilliant mate really happy with that Awesome. <laughs> Shot. And that's the consistency element of it. Yeah, every one straight down the middle. Isn't yeah. Like, where was that when I needed it last weekend? <laughs> Mad. Awesome. Mad, mate. Right. Happy, mate. Yeah, very happy. Thanks, brilliant. Mate. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah, thanks for well, Lou, sticking that was awesome, with us, mate. mate, as well. That was brilliant. This heat. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine it being. Uh, oh, no, it's. Look, it's, it's not. It's all about you, this. It's about getting to a place where you're there. Yeah where you're just going through, literally now, you're developing a habit, it's going through the motions. Yeah. You're just recognising what you're doing, you're seeing the shot, yeah. feeling the swing, it's just habit forming. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Thanks mate, yeah, nice brilliant, one, mate. well done. Yeah.